Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful Monday. It's June the 15th. It's National Smile Power Day, and it's time for the wise guys. And as always, let's get started with Sir and the weather. Well, our lovely weekend weather continues today. Currently 19 degrees, working our way up to a high of 21. Sunny skies today, tomorrow, throughout the remainder of the week, and temperatures will be on the rise towards the end of the week. Have a great Monday, everyone. That is the most up-to-date forecast I think I've heard you present this entire pandemic, sir. Well done. Well, I can make it up just as well as the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, start your day off with a smile. That's Smile Zero on National Smile Power Day. You know, a smile is the simplest morale booster and confidence builder. Smiling at someone can help them relax and make them smile in return. That's your smile transfer protocol. Even if you don't feel like it, smiling will lift your mood and can make you a happier person. And when texting, add a smile to your message with a colon and an end bracket. Those are the keys to happiness. It's a bit of a mystery how a colon ended up being part of a smile. <laughs> it's a half smile. Would it be a semicolon? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a smilectomy, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Tunes with Tamik. Tamik, what song do you have for our playlist today? So today and this week, I'm going to highlight uh, some favorites from my dad. It is Father's Day week, or Father's Day is coming up, and my dad's birthday is always around that time. So, um, and I will be asking the dads on this telecast or radio cast for their suggestions as well. But today I'm highlighting um, a reggae artist, a consummate artist, um, really gone before his time, uh, named Peter Tosh. Uh, Peter Tosh was part of the, the group The Whalers that also included, included Bob Marley and Bunny Whaler. And he also, like the other uh, group members, he went solo. But Peter Tosh, like many people we've talked about before, He's self-taught, right? He taught himself how to play um, guitar, piano. He taught himself how to make music. And um, he was very much um, not just a, a performer and a singer, but very much so, um, I would say, an activist, right? Very involved in the anti-apartheid movement, involved in uh, musical artists, particularly out of Jamaica, having more autonomy over their music. And so he's remembered as that individual as well. The song though that I want to focus on today is called Creation. And it's one it's a song that my dad played a lot and it, it feels like a tall glass of cold water. It feels like it feels like when you're sitting on the beach by the ocean and you're just enjoying the view. That's what the song feels like. It is an absolutely beautiful, stunning song. And so that song is what I'm on today by the, the great Peter Tosh creation. Uh, Venturo, do you have a favorite Peter Tosh song? Yeah, I'd go with um, Equal Rights and Justice. Equal Why Rights people... and Justice. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's a very good song. Um, and Peter Tosh has a song that describes this entire pandemic, um, but only Jamaicans would understand it when it starts. It's a very interesting song. But Equal yeah. Rights and Justice is a very good one. Excellent. So everybody, add Peter Tosh to your to your um, playlist. People talk a lot about Bob Marley, but they need to talk more about Peter Tosh, and that's probably why my dad played him. My dad's always about the, the person that doesn't get their their flowers. So today we are giving him his flowers, and that is my pick for today. Right on. So let's get some Peter Tosh listening in today. Love the idea of Father's Day week. I think everyone should jump on board with that one. Yes. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, let's go over to Ventures with Venturo. Venturo, what have you got for us today? Hey, a typical Monday motivation. Today I have something for you from um, Zig Ziglar. And it's a short quote. It says, positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking. So for this week, I want you to take a little time to think about your self-talk and make sure that all those conversations that you're having with yourself are positive ones. Have a fabulous week, everybody.
Right on. Great motivation. Let's turn those frowns upside down. It's Monday and time for Monday's <laughs> Mystery. Well, in keeping with uh, today's theme, here's a sweet one to make you smile. Why is it that sugar doesn't have an H in it? And everyone's okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Start the week off. Well done, sir. Oh my God. Even with that, you get a, a laugh out of it, you know? Uh, you know why I'm laughing? Because in Jamaica, we always put letters where they're not supposed to go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so that's why I'm laughing. Yeah. Anyway. You don't put that. them in the mailbox? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What's this letter doing here? Oh, oh. <laughs> Woo, that was good. Thank you for that. Smile, turn that frown upside down. Absolutely. So, oh, freestyling good. Monday here on the show. Exactly. Okay. Good, good luck, Mark. Yeah, chop, chop here, <laughs> chop, chop there. Oh, no, no, no. Here, chop, there, chop. All gold material. All gold material. <laughs> That's been a great effort, everyone. And we'll show everyone to uh, Monday. We are the wise guys and girl, leaving you smarter and happier than you were yesterday.